Good evening, everybody, and thank you for joining us on this Monday. For the first time since 2016, the Eddie I. Cal Big Wave Invitational could happen this week. If the surf conditions are big enough, the event kicks off on Wednesday. Christy Tomashiro joining us live from Waimea Bay with more. Christy? That's right, Bridget and Dash. The energy here on Oahu's North Shore is buzzing. Now, I spoke with Clyde Aikau earlier today, and he is confirming that the Eddie Aikau Big Wave Invitational is getting the green light, and the contest is set to run on Wednesday here at Waimea Bay. Now, Clyde Aikau has been monitoring the conditions with forecasters all day long. He tells me that the winds are looking a little rough for Wednesday morning, but the conditions should be perfect through the afternoon. Now, a reminder, the contest needs 20-foot conditions consistent waves to run and the contest has only ran nine times with the last time in 2016 with John John Florence taking the title. Now for surfers near and far they are getting ready to compete in the world's most prestigious surf competition. Uh, some of the invitees I spoke with say they've waited their entire lives for this moment. Uh, to many surfers this contest isn't just about winning a title it's about celebrating the legendary waterman Eddie Aikau. The, this day is so much more than a surfing competition. This day is honestly the most meaningful day of my entire surfing career. I lost my brother when I was eight years old, and his dream was to surf in this event as the first representative from Maui. And since that day, that was 1998, I, I walked through life with that replaying in my mind. And I've never been so excited and um, just so honored to be able to compete in, in surfing. It's a day to celebrate Uncle Eddie, you know, the greatest waterman of all time, the person who put people before he put himself. You're going to come back. Now, as you can imagine, Waimea Bay will be extremely packed um, on Wednesday with so many people coming from near and far to witness history. Now, the city tells me it's meeting with state partners today to figure out uh, parking plans and additional bus routes for Wednesday. Now, the city tells me there will be a press conference uh, tomorrow to discuss more of the plans and let the public know that information. And when that becomes available, we'll bring you that information. Reporting live from the North Shore on Waimea Bay, Chrissy Tomashiro, K22 News working for Hawaii. Back to you. Adi Christy, thank you very much. Exciting. A lot of fingers yeah. crossed, hoping it'll go. But of course, Mother Nature ultimately calls the shots.